So ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our video of Mercury in the 12th house of your Dasamsa chart. As in what happens when Mercury, Buddha, is in the 11th house of your D10 Dasamsa. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your cycle details, check out the links here, Garrus Astrology, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, including the link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where next week I'm going to be showing you guys on Guru Purnima Day a technique related to Secrets of Ascendance. So link to it is also in the comment section as well. So anyway, Mercury in the 12th house of your D10 Dasamsha. So what is the 12th house of the Dasamsha? Well, the 12th house represents foreign lands, foreign places it actually in your office like in a corporate setting it can represent the back storage like eighth house can represent the basement of the office 12th house can represent the back storage 12th house represents the expenses incurred related to your career or business so this is what uh 12th house is in the samsha so mercury here Okay, which is naturally your skill set. Like, what is a person's skill? So here it shows that a person, first of all, will always hide their skills. They like to hide their skills and not show everything at once. So don't think that 12th house is um, like a debilitated position of Mercury. No, these are very smart people. They're only going to show you skills when they know that they're going to get the right pay for it. And especially Mercury in the 12th, such people love to actually work in the back end of the office. Either they like to, it doesn't matter what their career is. Okay. They like to kind of like um, be in the back end. They don't want to go out in the front of the client customers. Especially this person's skills can be utilized when you send them to foreign places like doing a lot of foreign trips in, um, you know, in terms of their career, in terms of their work. So going to foreign lands becomes very, very um, good for them. Like traveling. I'm not talking about like permanently setting, settling somewhere. No, when they have to travel, they, they, they improve their skills. So if you have employee like this and you know that they're good and yet you want them to become better, Send them to do some work in a foreign place. Send them to long distance travels. Because this is the Mercury that when they travel, that means they're away from everybody that they know at work. That means there's this element of isolation. When that occurs, they naturally tend to improve their skills. They feel like that, well, I don't have any support right now. I better become better at what I'm doing. So this is what this particular does. Uh, now, one thing you will notice with this Mercury, especially like in a water sign, they also become daydreamers. You know, because uh, Mercury is not only just skills, but analysis. And they'll always like to analyze things in their career. Like, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. What if I was here? What if I just, you know, quit right now and start doing this? They love to conjure up all kinds of scenarios of you know their professional life and also again very quiet in communication like again their community their their quietness does not necessarily mean that they have low self-esteem or they have you know confidence issue no they just know when to speak because they like to observe things from behind the scenes they like to just observe everybody and they it's kind of like playing chess they kind of study what to say to someone and how to say it and this is how they actually kind of like help themselves okay so guys this is my analysis of mercury in the 12th house of your dasamsa chart um i'm not sure what planets are left now i guess rahu and ketu are left if i'm not mistaken so we'll start with one of them next week and otherwise, remember, I'm going to be uploading my 
uh, Secret of Ascendant video on Keras vlogs um, on Wednesday during Guru Purnima day. So for that, you can obviously check out the links here under the course section or in the description section. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.